Hi, this video is about side-by-side -side comparison of mitosis and meiosis. Before that, we should be noted that both processes, mitosis and meiosis, involve in making new cells. Mitosis produce body cells that includes somatic cells like skin cells while meiosis produce reproductive cells or gametes. To start both processes, mitosis and meiosis, the cells are deployed or to end. That means they have two sets of chromosomes and as in human being, to end will equals to 46 chromosomes in total. Both mitosis and meiosis also go through the same stages of prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, except that meiosis go through them twice. In mitosis prophase, chromatin are seen to be condensing or thickening, while in meiosis prophase, Chromatin are thickening and later matching up with their homologous pairs. Quick recall on homologous chromosomes is the pairs are almost the same size and they carry the same type of gene at the same location. One pair comes from mother and another one comes from father. This homologous chromosome, synapse, to form bivalent in late prophase, while this process does not happen in mitosis. Following the synapsis in meiosis is the crossing over between non-sister chromatids, and this will lead to exchange of genetic materials. And this crossing over does not occur in mitosis, hence there will be no genetic material exchange. Due to that, we can see that genetic materials of daughter cells from mitosis is exactly the same as mother cells, while in meiosis, the genetic materials of daughter cells differ from the mother cells. In cells that undergo mitosis, cells will divide only once due to one-time cytokinesis at the end of telophase. And the daughter cells will have similar number of chromosomes to their mother cells which is diploid. In meiosis, on the other hand, the reproductive cells divide twice as cytokinesis happens at the end of telophase 1 and 2 and this will produce daughter cells which have half number of chromosome of their mother cells. The table in this slide simply show the difference between mitosis and meiosis as I've explained from the slide before.